On Friday night, the Ohio Bobcats tied the best start to a season in Ohio history at 12-1 when they beat Kennesaw State. That's all they will do. They do not break history tonight as they fall to Robert Moore 70-67 and a 12-2 start to the season. Robert Moore started out hot tonight, shooting up in the 70% some at one point in the first half. Ohio, not so hot. Bobcats just 2 of 11 from behind the arc in the first half, but they would mount a comeback. 10 to 1 run to close the half, sparked by 8 DJ Cooper points. And Ohio cut the lead to just 2 points, 33-31, and headed into the break. The only reason Ohio was in this game at the halftime, steals and turnovers. All the momentum Ohio had built at the end of the first half wiped away in the first minutes by the Colonials. They go on a 13-4 run and lead it 46-35, heading into the first media timeout. But the next four minutes, all Bobcats. They mount to come back and get their first lead since 19 minutes and 46 seconds remained on the first half when they led 2-0 on Nick Kellogg's huge three, 54-52. Ohio will fast forward later in the second half. Robert Morris up 70-62 at one point, one minute and eight seconds re remaining in this ball game. Keeley gets the layup down 70-65, to then they deflect the ball on an inbounds pass. The Colonials give it right back. A free throw by Taekwon Gord makes it 70-65. to Walter Offit deflects another inbounds pass. It leads to the Ricardo Johnson dunk. It's 70 to 67. Robert Morris, three consecutive turnovers on inbounds passes. Robert Morris misses a free throw that would have made it a four point ball game. So John Gross calls timeout, draws up a three pointer. Who's going to make a three point shot? They're three of 25 at this point in the ball game. Cooper inbounds it to Kellogg. Kellogg dishes it back to Cooper and on the fadeaway three pointer, no good. Bobcats fall 70 to 67. And John Gross's eyes, execution, the difference tonight. Played good basketball at times. We played some good basketball. We've had some good wins. But we got to be more consistent. Tonight it was execution that got us. You know, it wasn't effort. It wasn't attitude. I thought we were great in, in those two areas. Quick look at the box score for you. Robert Morris shoots at a blistering pace tonight. 53% from the field, 43% from three. On the flip side, Ohio. 35% from the field and 3 of 26. That's 11.5% from the three-point line. Ohio out-rebounded tonight 43-29 overall. And on the defensive end, 32-13. Rebounds and a lack of shooting for Ohio downs the Bobcats tonight. They fall to 12-2. They will begin MAC play this Saturday with a trip up to Bowling Green for the Bobcat Sports Showcase. I'm Matt Archibald.